Hi there, I'm Miriam. I'm working here at Claremont as the Families and Young People's Worker. This summer I had the privilege of taking part in a training by Scripture Union. The training was for Bible Alive program. It's an interactive program that is delivered in schools as part of their religious education curriculum. And um, it, as it happens, the training took place in Daryl and who was there with me to be trained? Anybody else but Ali Scott. There were also other ministers and young peoples and families workers from the area trained with me. Now, um, in the next clip, you will hear Valerie to talking about Bible Alive program. So pay attention and let's see if we could start a Bible Alive program here in East Pride among Claremont folks. That's what we seek to do at SU Scotland. Our vision is to see the children and young people of Scotland exploring the Bible and responding to the significance of Jesus. We aim to bring the Bible to children and young people in a way that's age appropriate, that they can engage with and respond to. And life for young people growing up around us today is quite different from what we experienced a generation ago. And, and some of the things I could share with you, you might find hard to fathom. Recent studies have shown that one in four of the young people growing up around us today are living in poverty, a quarter of them. One in three have additional support needs, maybe a temporary thing or something that will be with them throughout their entire school life. And only 15%, 15 believe in God. Now that's quite breathtaking, isn't it? The studies that were done just last year showed that there were more children and young people who believed in ghosts than believed in God. Now that's quite, that's quite a shocking realisation for the young people growing up around us today. I set up an issue group in a Lanarkshire primary school in the autumn of 2019. And one day there was a primary five boy came along for the, for the first time and he enjoyed the games, he enjoyed the stories. But when the chat died down, he, he was sitting there looking really perplexed. And he said, how do you know all this about Jesus? I don't know anything about him. This is a heartbreaking situation for us to find the generation growing up around us to be in. But here's the thing. God really loves these children and he can do amazing things. Let me tell you about just a couple of the things we're doing to bring the Bible to these children. Bible Alive is a program I've been involved in teaching for the past 15 years. We go through the storyline of the Bible using storytelling, drama, quizzes, sign language, music, and British sign language signing. It makes the lessons engaging, involving, and interactive, and very much in keeping with the curriculum for excellence. The whole class gets this as part of their RD lesson, not just the handful who, who may come along to an issue or church event. And so the whole class has this lesson, and... The kids who thought the Bible was boring, that it would have nothing for them, they are surprised by it. They find the Bible is not what they thought it was going to be. One of the most frequent feedback comments I get is, I thought the Bible was boring, now I know it's exciting. Now we go through the storyline from Genesis to Revelation, but it's not just a series of individual stories, it's done from the perspective of the whole Bible. So right from lesson one, we discover that the Bible says that sin is a problem, it separates man from God. That... God has a plan for dealing with this problem by sending Jesus. And then as we go through the storyline, we see that there are clues of what Jesus was going to do. And I find that seeing these pictures enables the kids to get it. They understand what's going on here. They understand what Christians believe makes sense. And they really engage with these programs. Teachers frequently tell us that these lessons are the highlight of the kids' week. The one child wrote in his end-of-year report that the Bible Live lessons were the highlight of his school year. And I thought, that was good. I thought, we're not going to talk that. And then one day I got feedback from a child saying the weeks we did Bible Alive were the best weeks of my life. Now, this has been a very strange year. I've been an exception in being able to go into schools and continue to teach Bible Alive. Most schools haven't allowed visitors in. And so programs we would normally teach at Christmas and Easter and for primary sevens traditions high school haven't been able to happen in the normal way. But a partnership with SU Ireland enabled us to produce Light Up Christmas, colour in Easter 
and move for the, these three events. These were engaging videos with a resource pack that required very little prep from teachers, but were freely accessible to all the schools, not just the ones we would normally be in, but any schools, not just in Scotland, actually, further afield were also using them. Teachers really appreciated these. They said they were really happy they met the curriculum requirements in a way that the kids really enjoyed. Technology has been such a big thing this year, hasn't it? And we're very thankful for that. It's enabled us to continue to run events in ministry with kids in primary school by running primary online clubs, secondary connect groups for those in S3 to S6. The Lanarkshire Connect Group enabled us to stay connected with them and for them to stay connected with God's Word and support each other through a very difficult year. And our senior discipleship programmes, the things that kind of explore the issues that are particularly pertinent to teenagers, the things that they are wrestling with and helping them to own their faith and live it out, also moved very successfully online and we got really good feedback from the young people saying how much they appreciated that when their normal support systems weren't in place. Zoom also enabled our Lanarkshire prayer meeting to continue and actually has grown over this period. It's a really encouraging time, 45 minutes once a month. If you'd be interested in joining us, do send me an email. I would love for you to be able to come and to be encouraged as we pray together. Now we're at the end of the school year. We're in holiday club season and normally as you're sure you're aware, we would be having SU camps. However, at our centres, we presently have day camps where the children and young people can come for camp activities and camp teaching while normal residential events can't take place. I'm hoping to put together a group um, from Claremont to take the Bible Alive to our local schools near our church. And for this, I need people who are gifted in arts and crafts for making props and finding creative ways of telling the Bible stories to children. So if you have some skills in storytelling, drama, making props, um, clothes, um, uh, etc., please contact me and we'll see if we can put a team together and go to the schools when restrictions allow. I will be on holiday until and including 25th of July, but I will be back um, and will uh, answer you any of your emails then. Who hasn't heard of our Jungle Adventure Holiday Club yet? Well, on 26th of July until Friday 30th of July, we are running a fun-filled week of Holiday Club activities. Mardo is leading it and the program comes from Scripture Union, so the Jungle Adventure Holiday Club was designed by Scripture Union for this specific summer after COVID. So we are delighted that we can invite children um, to meet us at the church and weather permitting, also we will use the outside space of the church for the club. So please pray for us, please pray for Mardo and the team and for the children that are coming, that we may be teaching them faithfully the message of the Bible and have, make connections and have a great week of jungle adventure. A special guest will make appearance in our holiday club with some animals. So that is something to look forward to as well. Now, finally, um, I would like to um, tell you about a trip that I'm planning for teenagers. So the Jungle Adventure Holiday Club is meant for primary school kids and we have limited spaces, only 40 because of COVID restrictions and we have two sessions, a morning and afternoon sessions to take the kids. By the way, there are still a few spaces left. So if you know anybody who is interested, do tell them about it and contact Mardo for more details and for registration link. But about the trip. So for the teenagers, we have a privately funded trip. So thanks to a private anonymous donor, we have been we are going to be able to take teenagers out um, this August for a, a trip to Millport. And uh, we are planning to go by a coach, uh, hire a coach, and take the kids bicycle riding and eating ice cream and fish and chips. Um, please again pray for a good weather and good turnout. All the crossword kids and renew kids are invited, plus any new kids from the Holiday Club contacts that are going into secondary, hoping to welcome them um, amongst our midst into our youth groups as they are making the transition from primary to secondary. That's all from me today. I hope you have a lovely day. I see you later and keep up the good work. <laughs>